Yeah, um, Two-Headed Dragon, Arimon, Cerberus, and Echidna here in this dungeon are all from Final Fantasy III. I said each of the, the the bosses in each of the bonus dungeons are like themed to one of the Final Fantasies, and they just count up. Let's try this again. This is this might be a hard fight. Okay. This time, let's try and put no blaze on the party for that blaze attack. Maybe. Let's do. Temper, haste. I think you can do the help. Protect drink to him. Right, so I should have the fire damage incoming. There's not much we can do about the earthquake without like ribbons and stuff. All right, we need to start attacking. Let's get the rest of the tempers up on him. And you can just help attack a little bit. I don't know how many hit points. Oh my, here comes the earthquake. Better luck this time. Come on. <laughs> well, there's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> All right, well, bad luck. Um, Man, is it just like, okay, go get ribbons and come back? Is, is that where we're at here? <laughs> Insta-kill the whole party, why don't you? Was a good start though, so no blaze is still a good idea because we know he does that. I don't think the protect drink was a bad idea either, if to protect from other things, he does. But. Honestly, you might as well attack. Yeah, cure yourself, bud. Do that. That's what I want to see you do. I don't have, like, a, a null death, you know? <laughs> Alright, you attack. Get two more tempers up on him. And then see who survives, I guess. 383. That's before two more tempers. He'll probably be over a thousand after two more tempers. Alright, here's the earthquake. He's fully buffed. As long as he survives, we might be okay. You can work on getting other people up. He needs to just keep hitting people. Yeah, hit him all you want, man. Okay, about a thousand. He could probably kill him if he can survive a couple rounds. That That is our goal right now, is just make that warrior survive a couple more rounds. Here's Blaze. We got no Blaze in the top two, which is saving the day there. Keep going. Keep getting people back up. Give him more targets to do things to. More or less all the ninja's doing. Just keep that warrior fighting. Yeah, do your little Kira. That's cute. Waste your turn, waste your turn. All right. Right back up. Kira going. Ice Storm. Didn't prepare for that. Shit. He still survived. This could still work. 
You just Hail Mary on him, I think. I think the boss is somewhat close, but I don't know how close. Thunderbolt? Does he live? He has all the elemental spells. Damn. <sighs> we might have to come back later for this one. Which means doing the damn forest again. We're really close. I feel like that was really close. I don't think he has any more hit points. He had an unloaded, like... Like, he has, like, Earthquake, the Ice Storm, the Blaze, and the Thunderbolt spell. That's, that's quite an array of death. I think we're gonna have to come back later. It sucks. I, I think we could beat it right now. I think it just take it would take a little bit of luck. But instead of just trying it over and over and over again, we could just go grab like a ribbon or two and a couple more levels and some better spells and come back here and just stomp them into the ground, honestly. So that, that was the end of the Earth Gift. I don't know, like, what we get from him, you know? He had a chest beside him, too. Mm. But, like, that's... That fight's actually a little bit outside of our pay grade right now. Like, it's not that we can't beat it. We definitely could beat it. It just would take a lot of luck. Let's go do the fire crystal and regroup. We'll have to do the stupid desert and the forest again, but that's okay. They'll go even somewhat slightly faster with another part. <laughs> it won't really, because like we're one shotting them anyways, but eh, it's fine. Right. Let's go do the fire crystal. The fire crystal is in Mount Gold which is a volcano to the west of Crescent Lake. So... Basically, this right here is the fire crystal. I don't know if we can land our airship over there, but let's go find out. If we can, we can skip all the canoeing. Um, that's the ice cavern, right? And then Mount Gold is right here. Yep. Boom. Alright. Mount Gold. So the lava tiles hurt us, obviously. Um, they only hurt, like, a little bit. It's like... It's like one damage per tile or something. You can you can walk over him pretty safely. The enemies in here should be super easy at this point because of like technically we're supposed to Oh, I'm still <laughs> I'm still doing the actions from that last fight. Technically we're supposed to come here way or I just did a phoenix down. Oh, whatever. Um Is it random which boss you get or do you get them in order or whichever room you go to? There's definitely a ramp up in difficulty. Um, I think it's based on the rooms. Um, I don't know if I picked them in the order to ramp them up, but Armon definitely seems like the strongest. And the fact that he has a chest beside him and the other ones don't kind of lends credence to that, probably. But um, no, I just started at the top left and went around and randomly. I don't. I think they are tied to their specific rooms, though. I don't think it's random. It just might have lucked into doing them in that order. If we'd done Ariman first, I might have been like, oh my god, we got ready for these bosses. But this dungeon should be a cakewalk, because typically you come to this dungeon before the class upgrade, before the airship, and before, and you know, before, without doing any bonus dungeons and stuff. And we've done the airship, we've done Citadel of Trials, we've done the Ice Cavern. And we've done four copies of the Earth Gift Shrine. And we have some gear from all of that. We are going to just waltz through this dungeon. So let's get on down to the bottom of it and um, beat up a Marilith, huh? 
And then once we beat the Merolith, we'll actually open up the next bonus dungeon, which is Hellfire Chasm, which is over on the islands where Bahamut is. And we might actually have better luck in Hellfire Chasm. But, you know, we might have even better luck if we do the Water Crystal before we do the bonus dungeons. And the reason I say that is because when we do the Water Crystal, um, one, I think we can get a ribbon. Two, we can get the Giant's Gloves that let someone cast Saber on themselves, which is an upgraded version of Temper, but it's self-only. But using the Giant's Gloves as an item lets you cast it even if you're not a caster. So, like, the Warrior could use the Giant's Gloves to Saber himself to get attack and accuracy buffs while everyone else is trying to haste him and stuff. Um, which can help us buff faster. There's a lot of benefits. See, I think one of the ribbons is in... the air crystal dungeon, I think. I think one of them's in the water dungeon. There's three ribbons in the main game, I believe. And I believe there's also... Um, I think you can get a ribbon as a reward from one of the bonus dungeons. So you can farm ribbons, I think, by killing a bonus dungeon boss. If we need more, if we wanted to get up to four. Because in the normal game, you can't get four. There, there aren't four outside the bonus dungeon. I think there's only three. But... For those that don't know, ribbons are a common accessory across most Final Fantasy games that block all status effects. So we won't be able to be petrified or slowed or confused or instant death or etc. etc. So it's super useful for getting rid of a lot of the more annoying abilities that a lot of bosses have and some enemies. necessarily know why I'm trying to get all these chests because they likely have items that we don't necessarily need, but you know, why not? <laughs> we'll probably have better equipment than is in this dungeon. But it doesn't hurt us to get it. We're just getting lots and lots of money. already gonna have lots of money. You know, maybe we shouldn't get all the items, because, like, we do already have better items, I think. Like, I think the sword you get in this dungeon is the, like, the Great Sword, right? Which we already have Mithril Swords and Ice Brand and Fire Brand, so we probably won't be getting an upgrade if we get the sword. I think the sword's in this room somewhere. You know what, let's, uh... Like, it's super easy to just skip all these rooms. You only need to go up in here in this little maze if you're trying to get all the items. If you don't want the items, you can just walk to the next stairs. Let's just walk to the next stairs. Like, because we've done so many other later dungeons, like, there's no point to these items, I don't think. Yeah, we got some money. Like, we already have 200,000 gil. Like, we... <laughs> We have enough gil for the rest of the game already, and we're just gonna get more and more and more. We're getting like 2,000 gil a fight right now. We are gonna max out our gil before this is over. So let's just push our way through this dungeon, not worry about the chests. Let's just get to the boss and get that crystal taken care of. We got a lot more to do tonight. So if you want to just skip all the chests, you can just go literally straight left. And there's the next floor. That's a little bit easier than, you know, anything else. Alright, then we need to make our way around. Yeah, see the lava doesn't do very much damage. It's, it's literally like one damage a step or something. Like if you look at our health, we've barely lost any health, even though we've been walking over all that lava. And doing fights without healing. And these enemies only do one damage to Gilded right now. Alright, B4. B3. 
three. Fire Hydra. It's no longer a fire hydra. There we go. Back to B four again. We're on the correct side of it now, though. Yeah, let's heal a little bit. Lava worm. It looks terrifyingly like that monster from the desert that kicked our ass. <laughs> I'm mean, right in the room with the chests. Might as well get these chests. Yeah. Um. I don't know if we go left or down. Go down. Ice brand. Ice brand's probably better than fire brand for in here. Or just in general. We have two ice brands now. Because we got one from the uh, ice cavern, too. Push to the flame shield, because I think it'll protect us from the flames. Possibly. That's an encounter tile, isn't it? fights. It's so weird fighting those bosses that do like 300 damage each when they do an AoE fire attack to this guy that does like 30 damage each. You know, it's like... <laughs> Such a big difference. Alright, B5. Um... I believe the Marilith is on this floor. I think she's in the bottom left.
It's gonna be sad that the fiend is so much weaker than the bonus the dungeon bosses, but it's gonna be. Like, like, way weaker than the bonus dungeon bosses. Red Dragon. Oh well. Is there 4,000 gil if you want to farm gil there? Don't really need to farm gil, but you know. Guys, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break and check on what's going on with Leo real quick, and I will be right back, and then we'll fight the Marilet. Take care of this fire dungeon for once and for good. So I will be right back. Don't touch that dial. Okay. Sorry about the little delay there, guys. Let's get back to it. Well, just to be safe, we'll save. But I don't think we're gonna have any trouble with the Marilith. But you know, better safe than sorry, right? So you are the ones who defeated the Fiend of Earth and roused Marilith from her slumber. The burning flame is mine and mine alone. Here we go. All right.
Can't even one shot chat. Come on. <laughs> put no blaze up that's not gonna do it all right got three tempers in haste do you think that the warrior the, the knight can one shot her now <laughs> I think he probably can oh that might slow him down oh but she missed Done. <laughs> yeah. All right. Another crystal down. Fire Chasm has opened up. Another bonus dungeon to enter now. So this this bonus dungeon, Hellfire Chasm, also has four bosses, but it's twice as long as Earth Gift Shrine. It's ten floors. But the bosses are like, there's two bosses on floor five and two bosses on floor ten. So instead of having to go through it four times, you just have to go through it twice. So it's still 20 floors of bonus dungeon, basically. So, let's head over to Earth Gift Shrine and fight some Final Fantasy IV bosses. Um, on the way... Let's see... Let's stop over and... Refresh our items and heal and stuff. This dungeon should be harder than the last dungeon, obviously. Terror and Invisra just for the defensive spells, but what is we're giving up Thundaga to do that? This Thundaga is honestly pretty weak. So that yeah, I'm better off with the defensive spells, I feel like. Just go full white that level. Okay. towns too like this town here we're gonna go to eventually we don't need to go to it yet the town up here yeah Gaia they have the level seven magic which he can actually learn Lazaga Nice. 
this is sort of the point in the game where the red mage caster wise starts to drop off like he becomes you can't learn any of the eighth level ones there right yeah 